finding the nth term of a geometric sequence. Look at this sequence 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. You can observe that each successive term of the sequence is obtained by multiplying 2 uh, with previous term. 2, 2 is a 4 and 4, 2 is a 8 and 8, 2 is a 16. 16 multiplied by 2 is 32. When we get the next term by multiplying one number again and again, that number is called common ratio. And this sequence is called geometric sequence. We normally denote this common ratio with R. So here R is equal to 2. Now observe this second, second sequence. 27, 9, 3, 1 and 1 over 3. We get the successive terms just by dividing the term by 3. So if you divide 27 by 3, we get 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 1 divided by 3 is 1 over 3. Here this number is called common ratio. And common ratio is R is equal to 1 over 3. And this sequence is again a geometric sequence. There are two main ways of describing a geometric sequence. The first is called turn to term rule. Look the first sequence again. You can see here the second term is two times the first term. Therefore, the second term which is u2, it is two times of u1. In the same way, the third term is two times the second term. That u3 is two times of u2. In the sequence, 3 is u1, 6 is u2 and similarly u3, 4 and u5. So if there is nth term, we have to find the nth term. The value of the nth term that is un, it will be equal to 2 times of un minus 1. Similarly, un plus 1 will be the 2 times of un. The second method is is to find the nth term in the, in the shape of a general formula. Now you can observe that the second term which is 6 here is obtained by multiplying the first term by 2. That is 3 into 2. We can write it like this. 3 into 2 power 1. And you can observe the third term which is 12. It is multiply. It, if we obtain this by multiplying the first term 2 times by 2. That is 3. Multiplying 2 into 2. That is 3 into 2, 2 raised power 2. And the fourth term, 24, is obtained just multiplying the first term 3 times by 2. 3 multiply by 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 2. Or we can write it like this. This 3 into 2 power cube. So if it is 4 term, which is 24, it can be written like this. That is first term, 2 power. The term number is 4, but power is 3. To get the third term which is 12, it is 3 into 2 raised power 2. So the power is always less than the term number. From here we can generalize a formula for the nth term of any geometric sequence. That is first term. We call this as an A. And 2 raised power something. This 2 is the common ratio that is r and the in each term this power is less than the term number if it is four term the power will be 3 if it is second term the if it is third term the power will be 2 so the power is always less than 1 so for nth term the power will be n minus 1 so this is our journal formula for finding the nth term of any geometric sequence. Therefore, the nth term of this given geometric sequence will be here A, the first term is 3, 
the common ratio is 2 and because we are finding the nth term so the power will be this will be remain n minus 1 so this is our nth term of this now you can verify this formula if we put 1 the first term number 1 minus 1 0 2 raised to power 0 is 1 and 1 into 3 is 3 the first term is 3 if we put 2 in n 2 minus 1 is 1 2 power 1 is 2 and 2 3 is a 6 just plugging in 3 in n 3 minus 1 is 2 2 power 2 is 4 and 4 3 is a 12 in the same way we can verify so this is our correct nth term of the given sequence.